It seems everyone these days wants to look younger. For men who are balding, that often means finding a way to replace hair loss. In tonight's Medical Breakthrough, an update on a hair transplant procedure that we first told you about last March. More than a year and a half ago, Bill Bakey looked in the mirror and thought his hair loss made him look much older than his 43 years. Since then, Bakey's undergone three transplants at the New England Center for Facial Plastic Surgery in Latham. Dr. Edwin Williams says the follicular unit grafting uses very small grafts from the back of the head. By placing only one to three hairs at a time, he strives for a natural look. The thing is, people looking at you, it really is undetectable. I mean, people cannot tell that that is a transplant. And that's the big difference between the way things were done years ago and now. Bakey says he investigated other ways to replace his hair and decided those places that promised to give him a full mane in just one visit were probably fly-by-night operations. Then he consulted with Dr. Williams. He basically sent the message to me that less was more. As someone who comes from generations of balding men, Bill Bakey says he's happy that he broke with family tradition. Recognizing getting older, um, that to be able to feel comfortable with myself uh, through the changes of aging, um, is a, it's a subtle, it's a subtle benefit, but one that um, inspires you to eat right and exercise and smile and feel comfortable. As happy as he is with his hair, Bakey says he may go in for a touch-up session to fill in his forelock even more. To review this story sometime this evening, go to WTEN.com and click on medical.